11 laps of the track. And it looks like Shurikovsky into the early lead. Nobody very anxious to go. They're all looking like cyclists bunching on the side there. Prefontaine straight through into the lead. And Johnson tucking in behind him. And Licori in third. And I think this will probably be the pattern of the race for four or five laps. Prefontaine says he's in good form. And he's always anxious to put on a good display. I talked to him before the race. He seemed pretty spirited tonight. And he's looking, I think, forward to trying to get a pretty fast time. Obviously in great shape after that American record in the two mile. I think Prefontaine being a distance runner, a three mile or 5,000 meter runner, really enjoys coming down to the mile and rubbing the specialist noses in it. But he will have to keep up a pretty nifty pace. It's going to be around 60 second pace for the first quarter. This is it right here, Adrian. 61 seconds, so it's more or less on schedule. So they're within range of a pretty good time, probably uh, shooting maybe in this race for the fastest mile of the season. It's a slight uh, problem because if Prefontaine doesn't hit a slightly faster rhythm, but nobody's going to take over the lead from him because all these mile specialists are quite happy to have somebody out there running a rabbit at the front. Looks like a train right now. Nice, neat line going around the track, Adrian. It's the easiest way to run, of course, is to sit in and just follow the rhythm of the leader. Shurikovsky, surprisingly, making a move. Marty still in the middle of that pack, uh, running just with the group, contented right now to be exactly where he is. Six laps to go. Nearly halfway through the race, still Prefontaine leading from Shortikovsky. Johnson third, now Del Buono of Italy fourth. Licori struggling slightly in fifth. Two minutes, right around two minutes for the half mile. So the pace has picked up slightly and Prefontaine is digging in again, just finding a little bit extra. It's a critical lap. Shortikovsky looks nice and easy in second. This is the lap they'll have to pick up if they're going to get around four minutes. They're going to have to run at least a 59 or a 60 in this one. Still Prefontaine from Shortikovsky. Looks like he has picked it up a little bit. Interesting that the Italian Del Bono has moved into third place. He's a very good improved runner. He's Marty second from the rear doesn't look too great a position right now. It looks like he's laboring a little bit, but it's hard to tell. Shurikovsky seems to spend more time adjusting his headband than worrying about his tactics on the track. And now Johnson moving dangerously through into third place and Licori at last beginning to wake up. Coming up to the three-quarter time. Uh, about 3.01 for the 13.20. For... But look at this going on at the back. Delbona moving through into third place and Licori will have to follow him, but Johnson's keeping him out. Still Prefontaine up at the front with Shurikovsky second. Two laps to go. Licori now muscled his way through into third place. Prefontaine still running off the front and everybody's stretching to stay with him, but Licori really sprinting to get up onto terms. Here comes Marty. It's going to be a marvellous last lap. Prefontaine leading with Shurikovsky and Licori together. The gun goes, still Prefontaine and Licori second. America's two great distance runners together and Prefontaine is giving it everything. He's won the whole race in front, and he looks as if Licori's cracked, and Del Buono of Italy is coming through in the third place. It's Prefontaine then, Prefontaine all the way, and Del Buono of Italy second. Prefontaine wins brilliantly, 359.2. Prefontaine sets a new world best time, is just a fraction outside the meet record. Del Buono of Italy, a new Italian record in second place, and the brightly coloured suit of Licori only manages third. And 16,000 people here in the forum really had a, a race for the money in that mile race. Prefontaine running away right from the front took hold of the whole crowd here and you're obviously pretty pleased about it. Very pleased, very pleased. Was it a tactical plan to go out from the front? Well, I think everybody knew my plan. Uh, for me to win a race against competition of, of that nature, I have to go out hard and, and just about lead from the start because uh, the runners in that field, except for Jim Johnson, are all runners that hang on and then out kick you at the last. So I, my tactics was just to go strong and, and run the first three quarters of a mile hard 
and then just hang on the last quarter. Well, you didn't seem to be hanging on. You looked like you could have gone about three more laps. I could have maybe gone one more lap, but I don't know about three more. <laughs> Does it give you a, a thrill as a long-distance runner to come and beat the miners at their own game? Uh, yeah, you might, you might say that. Uh, I wish I could beat some of the three-milers at their own game. <laughs>